Hello, we are here with Matteo Sfigavzeski, which is uh, Immobility Development Office Director in Solaris Bus and Coach. So in 2020, Solaris had the position of market leader in Europe concerning uh, e-buses. Uh, in the meanwhile, also in 2020, Solaris alternative drive bus production volumes grew uh, up to 44%. So which are your expectations for this year? Uh, good morning, everyone. I think, first of all, I would like to say Hello to those of watching us in this special, unique way. I think, uh, as I said to Ricardo before the interview, this is the very first time I think when, when I'm giving the uh, interview online, but uh, due to pandemic, I think we get used to already to this form of communications. So yes, indeed that 2020 was a record year uh, for Solaris. Uh, it was a record number of uh, total uh, vehicles sold. Uh, and exactly was 1,560 units delivered and 457 out of those vehicles were battery buses. Today, uh, our battery buses are operating in 18 countries uh, in over 100 cities, also uh, in Italy, uh, of course. And we expect that this segment mm, of our sales will grow in the future. As was mentioned in your question, uh, indeed, uh, uh, let's say our product mix is changing very dynamically over the last few years. Uh, two years ago, uh, the total market shares of, well, let's say, alternative drives in our productions were um, 30%, when uh, last year we exceed over 44% in our production mix by trolley buses, battery buses, and hybrid vehicles. So this is uh, showing the transition which is happening on the market. And of course, this transition uh, is required from us as a manufacturer also change uh, in many areas, not only in terms of production you know, facility, but also uh, in the area of uh, service and maintenance. And I think as Solaris, we are fully ready to deliver to our operators, not only vehicles, but entire uh, solutions regarding infrastructure, regarding maintenance of battery buses. And part of these solutions, for example, are feasibility studies, which I would called the recommendation, which option of battery buses, which option of battery charging uh, method would be the best for them, but also we are able to provide our customers with a full mobility maintenance and after sales package. So we are prepared for this challenge uh, from the market to provide the full maintenance services uh, regarding battery buses. Mateus, you mentioned the topic of charging uh, infrastructure, which is a, a crucial uh, uh, piece of the puzzle of the system of the electric bus. So it looks like uh, we see a trend in Europe for depot uh, charging. Some manufacturers uh, have, for instance, developed uh, models uh, only designed for plug-in for depot charging. So your company is keeping a more agnostic approach. I would call it a more, I'll say, opportunistic or rather flexible approach because from the very beginning offering electric buses, which uh, um, as a reminder was in 2011, so we are almost 10 years right now uh, delivering battery buses to the market. So we have pretty, I would say, long experience uh, regarding mobility. Uh, we believe that there is no one solution fits all requirements. So our approach as Solaris was that we are delivering the best possible option from the perspective of our customers. So in some cases, it would be the battery bus equipped with so-called Solaris high power batteries, which are batteries with high power density. Uh, these batteries are usually uh, smaller in terms of capacity, but they can be very quickly uh, charged and discharged uh, on the way and can be charged very quickly using the opportunity charging methods. I can give you an example of city of Poznan, where operator is using a pantograph charging station with power of 540 kilowatts. Uh, other operators, they prefer to have, let's say, uh, large capacity batteries. We call them in our portfolio uh, Solaris High Energy Batteries. This batter battery stands for the, let's say, larger capacity uh, battery packs, even up to 550 kilowatt hours. And this solution is uh, dedicated for those operators who prefer to have a depot charging, usually once per day, and then they can operate on the single charging entire day. Of course, uh, the battery capacity does not indicate specific type of charging option because uh, at the very beginning of the, let's say, developing a mobility market, it, it, it's true that it, usually the pantograph uh, charging points were dedicated for fast charging. Today, this is not the case anymore because the pantograph 
charging devices can be also used for the for the depot charging or can be used for the lower powers could you also observe uh, recently because many operators they opt for uh, pantograph charging but not necessarily for fast charging and so for example the uh, buses at the depot can be charged from the pantograph uh, device and then the roof mounted pantograph uh, in our case uh, and they are charged over the night with a relatively smaller power one of the very few uh, product launch in 2020 was the one of the Solaris uh, Urbino Electric 15 LE. Uh, so where are we standing in the production process and when should we expect the first uh, deliveries to be completed? Indeed, in 2020, we have launched a new product in our uh, e-mobility portfolio, which is Solaris Urbino 15 a low entry uh, electric. This is a bus which can be homologated in a, which is homologated in class one and two. So it can be used in the city operations, but also in the intercity operations, with a, which are, I would say, very specific, especially for the Scandinavian markets. And these are markets where we, for the first time, presented this, this bus uh, in the um, traffic operation with passengers. So we have already first experience uh, from presentation of this bus in, in Norway. And I think that high likely soon we can expect some orders from this uh, market. As it was said during the premiere of this product, uh, this product is equipped with the batteries uh, of power um, above 500 kilowatt hours, which is sufficient enough to operate not only in the city, but also in the intercity operations. And uh, these buses can use both plug-in and uh, pantograph charging points. And what is interesting about the plug-in solution, which we assembled in this bus, is that this plug-in socket is ready to be uh, to charge a battery with power uh, up uh, over 270 kilowatts, which is also a new solution because the previously this maximum power was lower. But now, due to the fact that we can use the liquid-cooled uh, combo CCS2 type combo connector, uh, we can use um, higher um, powers to charge with the plug-in option. Uh, but this is not the only, let's say, product news from our company. This year we plan to launch a new uh, nine meter uh, electric midi bus. Uh, this premiere will come uh, in a few months. Uh, we need to a bit reschedule our plans in terms of launching this product due to the fact that there were uh, cancelled few exhibitions. But uh, as we said in Solaris, we keep our promises. So definitely this product will have its premiere in the coming months. Thank you, Matteo, also for the premiere of the, regarding the upcoming launch of the new nine meter electric uh, Urbino. So the word electric bus, uh, it is worth mentioning, uh, it has a quite wide uh, meaning. Trolley buses, for instance, have been uh, so far an important segment for uh, Solaris business. Uh, so with the transition to electric drives, we see the trolley bus project and the EBRT, for instance, are earning chances to be major player of uh, the public transport of tomorrow. But else, how do you see this development? I think that there is no doubt that mobility is the future of public transportation. And we should not forget that the pub, uh, part of the mobility uh, solutions are not only battery buses, but also trolley buses and hydrogen buses. Uh, at Solaris, we are manufacturing trolley buses since all, over 20 years now. The first trolley bus which we delivered was in 2001. And since a couple of years, we are observing the strong trend towards uh, ordering or purchasing trolley buses with batteries. So thanks to this, and thanks to this solution combined with so-called uh, in-motion charging systems, uh, trolley uh, bus networks, trolley bus systems can cover today uh, these areas of the cities which are not equipped with the overhead wires. So thanks to the trolley buses equipped with the batteries or with fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell range extenders, uh, operators can uh, service uh, this part of the cities which never before were served uh, by trolley buses, which needs the connection to the catenary. So we are observing very strong trend uh, in this and, and dynamic grow in this uh, segment. And we can also see the effect of synergies between trolley bus network and the electric bus network due to the fact that we can use the same substations, the same uh, catenary for charging points for uh, electric buses. So definitely we can say that trolley bus is a very strong element of future mobility solutions for public transport.
Well, still out of the boundaries of the battery electric bus uh, segment, Solari is beginning this uh, month the deliveries of the hydrogen version of the uh, Urbino. How do you see the future relations between fuel cell buses and battery electric buses? Uh, the very first experience we had from uh, exploiting hydrogen buses uh, are we need to back to 2014, where we delivered first two units to Hamburg. Later on, we delivered 10 trolley buses with a hydrogen fuel cell range extended Riga. And today we have contracted almost 100 hydrogen buses for, for different cities in different countries in Europe. Just to give you a few examples in, uh, to, uh, to Bolzano, to uh, Cologne and Wuppertal in Germany, to Arriva, Netherlands and connection in Netherlands as well. And the more tenders for sure are coming for hydrogen buses. So I think that the hydrogen as a fuel has um, certain advantages. Uh, in some areas over battery buses, like lightness. Uh, so for example, these uh, this, um, hydrogen buses can be used, especially uh, on the lines which requires long ranges on the single refueling, because refueling time is relatively low comparing to other uh, technologies. So I would say, yes, definitely, uh, there is a very uh, bright future for the hydrogen buses, and we are observing very dynamic growth in that segment, I would say comparable to the growth which we were observing 10 years ago uh, regarding battery buses. So I think in 10 years from now, hydrogen buses will be a very significant part of the product mix in the uh, city bus fleets. Thank you very much, Mateus. Thank you much.